Hi, Jim Huntsinger here at Lean Frontiers with some more uh, fun lean facts, interesting lean facts for you. Um, in the last um, one, I spoke to you about a book from 1910 on uh, what we'd say call today value stream costing. Um, what's interesting is that book was referenced in another book, a uh, historical book, um, written by a fellow by the name of Charles Canopel, one of the leading, um, I guess, uh, engineers during the latter part of the Industrial Revolution in the United States. And in a book he wrote, he actually wrote it in, uh, I think, originally about 1914. He references uh, Alexander Hamilton's church's book on uh, production factors and cost counting. And actually says, if a reader wants, to, wants uh, more, a more scientific method on cost keeping, a careful study of production factors by Alexander, M Alexander Hamilton Church will be found of pronounced value. So, again, these reference each other. Another interesting thing in, uh, in, in Knopel's book, which is actually, I have it here, entitled Installing, Installing Efficiency Methods, which actually is a, it's actually a great read on just manufacturing, even, even valid today, um, even though it was written over 100 years ago, because in it he discusses, and we give credit for pole systems to Toyota, and Toyota's done fantastic thing with pole systems and developing them, and certainly the story of Ono um, getting the idea from uh, the supermarket and all that. I think all that is valid. But in 1914, um, Charles Knopel is actually writing about pole systems, describing them, some diagrams about it, how they operate, and even articulates it in this, in this manner. This means a pole type instead of a push type is the type of system he's recommending to use. So again, interesting information on how this stuff um, really has a even a more profound historical basis than we usually usually realize. And actually, other interesting thing is uh, Knopel's book. I found out about it reading another book, a historical book called The uh, Ford Methods and the Ford Shops, which is a, a very detailed description of uh, Henry Ford's Highland Park plant where they manufactured the Model T, which is really the original lean operation um, as well. But on page 160 in that book, it uh, references that uh, what they were doing at the Ford shops, as it references in the book, um, is really a, a laboratory, large-scale laboratory demonstration of uh, the things that are articulated by um, Professor Jones and actually Mr. Knopel. And then it actually has a footnote, I think the only footnote in that book, um, that references Knopel's actual book, the one I got, and that's how I found it. So again, uh, a lot of interesting uh, history, actually a lot of very learning, learned history when you study the stuff that can help us even today.